Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to your favorite channel, Yoleno TV. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're here. And uh, once again, I'd like to say thank you so much for those who've been supporting our channel. We are now approaching 14,000 subscribers, and that is credit to you. Now, Masit has again insinuated that there is a leaked audio that Chelule led tribunal is seeking to use in this tribunal exercise. In her statement, there is something that she has shared with, the, with the, the public that, and this is what she had to say, I have noted with great concern that the Chelule-led tribunal is planning to use propaganda, edited audio, and CCTV footage to implicate me and my colleagues unfairly in the ongoing exercise. I want to state categorically that I will make the whole world know what happened. And of course, that is what Masit communicated. You remember during the time of the presidential petition, there was an audio that surfaced online that the distractors used to have the Azimio Kenya lands uh, diehards implicated in, a, in, in this controversy of forcing a presidential runoff. In that audio, someone uh, speaking as if it's, it's Tuju was heard talking to purported uh, commissioners and that audio circulated, I think it took the better part of internet. And if you've not heard about the video, the audio, then I'll be glad to share this audio so that you can listen to it. So there's something interesting about the edited audio, but let's first listen in to this audio because I'd like to share something about editing an audio and the editing from 34S. Kelly, take your time and listen to this audio. To hear what I, uh, I have to report to you guys. Uh, I, I, I hope you are okay. I know, yeah, but he wants to pass a message. Come. Okay, nice. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, then it's John. Hello. Uh, sorry, Evan. John Bullet. Hello. This is uh, Rafael. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, we are in the office. Ah, no, we, okay. we are in. Yeah, so can you got put on speakerphone so I can explain to everyone? Yes, yes, it is on speakerphone. Okay. Good morning, uh, heroes or shiros. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Okay, now your security vehicles are outside, downstairs. Mm -hmm. The the let's call each one of you. Each one of you has got a security vehicle. Okay. With four security men. Okay. Uh, the 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 there are three plus a driver. But as I mentioned to you yesterday, if you have a preferred driver, then you bring your own driver. Okay. The allowances are taken care of. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about the allowances, about their lunch or anything like that. Okay. 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 Uh, so that's one. Uh, two. I think. Um, I think I, uh, I'm trying to get in, uh, in touch with the Kulundu so that we can afford the same uh, security. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe you agree to that. Yes, I think that's one. Okay, and mm -hmm. then uh, I think it's very important that you go to the office, and then of course, uh, under those circumstances, should uh, Chibukati attempt to chair any meeting, or which includes you guys, you will have your meeting chaired by Cherera. He can have his meeting with the other two. Because basically, by you walking out, it means you have lost confidence in him as a chair. So that if there is anything he comes out with as chairman, there will be a, a country. Uh, is, is, is that the book? Yeah, we think about that. Yeah, we think about that. Yeah, you, you, I mean, it's, it's not me. Yeah, uh, you I'm just throwing that on the table so you guys can discuss and decide. But it's a suggestion. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay, th thank you guys. And uh, if there is anything um, you can tell me, there are some other confidential discussions that I'll be coming to discuss with you uh, each, uh, again. 
we love to agree on what time, but I think you should leave the, I think it's best for you to check lunch in the office when you leave at five, then we can uh, gather again. Okay. 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 Thank you, guys. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, these days it's very much possible to manufacture such an audio thanks to the you know, te growing technological uh, uh, advancements. So during the pre pre presidential petition, the lawyer representing IBC took the judges through a series of ways of manufacturing fake 34As that resemble the original form 34As with all the watermarks, with all the security features. And, and I remember he said, I remember Masich saying that all the security features that are supposed to be in the original Form 34A were seen in this manufactured Form 34A. Kindly check this video so that you can get a deeper understanding of how these audios can, can be manufactured, how these videos can be manufactured, how these forms can be manufactured. Just that you take the next two minutes and finish. Uh, please put the machine back. You're about uh, the end, right? Yes, I am. I am. I am. The question that the, the 185. Yeah. If you can go back, we'll give you five minutes. Yeah. See what you can do with it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Madam Sinja. So, what we did is we we just took the form they provided us, and we juxtaposed as against what we have. And we've marked all the places what is wrong with that form. And what is wrong with that form? If you look at the QR code, up on the left, on the right, and, and also on the left, the QR code, the QR code, it's cropped similarly in both pictures. The IEBC logo underneath the document coincides with what he was the pressing officer. It's actually an impossibility. I've given you a form to take a picture, and what you are producing me is actually underneath the logo of the document, the IEBC logo that the presiding officer was using. So I've given you your form, you're taking your picture for your agent, and you're using the same that the IEBC PO was using. Both photos are taken from the same elevation. I believe the court has uh, ICT experts, and I, in fact, you don't need an expert for, for, to look at this. Look. So with that demonstration of the Ford from 34As, it is possible to also edit an audio. So that is why Masit has come out guns blazing, saying that she has noted that with great concern that the release CCTV footage, which was, which was uh, affecting her privacy, again, that's uh, against the rule of the law, that footage and this audio that is edited, I think she's saying that all these things are just manufactured and are meant to have them implicated in this controversy, the runoff, the presidential runoff, and that's the controversy, ladies and gentlemen. Can you share your thoughts out below the comment section there? Do you think Masit's uh, claims are justified in this uh, uh, in this uh, tribunal process, kindly share your thoughts are, uh, and I'd like to hear what you what you like, what your opinions are. And as usual, I'd like to urge you to first subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed to Yolendo TV. And once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.